off earlier on with the Moscow side of it. Let's get some more reaction. Go live to John Lachlan. He's director of studies at the Institute of Democracy and Cooperation in Paris. Hi there, John. We'll take this bit by bit. First of all, are you surprised by America's move here? Not really. I think Obama, in a sense, felt obliged to uh, cancel this bilateral meeting because of the uh, internal political pressures. Uh, and uh, that's really what it's ultimately about. Uh, but, of course, the, uh, there is a lot of background to this. It's not just about Snowden. Uh, Obama, of course, the president of the famous reset four or five years ago, in other words, of the restart of relations with Russia, uh, has turned out to have been not much better, really, in terms of uh, friendship uh, with Moscow than his predecessors. Because his uh, hands were tied or because uh, he just didn't want it? Uh, that's a difficult question to answer. What I meant was that he, there have been a number of big policy differences which uh, have been backing up now for some time. I'm thinking, of course, mainly of Syria, but also of more <clears throat> uh, symbolic things like gay rights and so on. On these issues, Russia and the West have been drifting apart for a while. And so the Snowden affair, if you like, was the last straw that broke the camel's back. More than just a blip, or are we seeing long-term problems here? I mean, we're hearing more and more now the word Cold War coming in from the American side. Well, we certainly heard it yesterday, anyway, from the, um, from the president, but it has been mentioned before, Cold War coming into it. Are we drifting back there? Uh, very much so. And uh, it's funny, actually, that Obama should have used that word because, of course, it was the Russians. It's Putin and the other Russian leaders who generally accuse the Americans of having a Cold War attitude. Now the insult has been returned. So, yes, I think there is a drifting apart. I think things are going badly. Uh, and as I say, it's not just because of uh, Snowden. Uh, it's because of other issues as well. And these are very important, both political and philosophical issues. Mm. In a way, I think the Americans are being very infantile and silly about this. I can understand the pressures, but I think they're being infantile, infantile and silly because Russia and America don't have an extradition treaty. So whether or not uh, uh, Snowden was granted asylum in Russia is of absolutely no significance at all. Russia could never have extradited him, whatever his status had been in, uh, in Russia, because they don't have an extradition treaty. And in fact, Russia generally doesn't extradite people to any countries at all. Mm. So just making this clear for our viewers, OK, the one-to-one -one was off pre the G20, but the G20 is still happening and more or uh, closely to home on Friday, there's still going to be the meeting between the Americans and the Russians, the uh, Defence Secretary and the Secretary of State. They are still talking. I'd like to be a fly on the wall of that meeting. How strained is that meeting going to be, I wonder? It's difficult to know. I mean, on the one hand, there are these big ideological and political differences. On the other hand, uh, ultimately, uh, Putin and Obama belong to the, 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 the world political class. And as statesmen, they see each other all the time. Uh, it's true that these differences are substantial. It's true that, they, uh, the, that the relationship is deteriorating. Uh, on the other hand, I'm sure that they maintain more or less cordial uh, relations on a personal level when they see each other, when they see each other, particularly when the meetings take place in private, as they usually do. So, a, a slight embarrassment coming up with them for the G20 when they all get together early September, first week of September. But you think they'll be able to get around the table and at least try to talk about talking and nothing else. Well, they will, but uh, I don't think anyone should underestimate the extent of bad blood. And it's been built, I, I keep repeating, it's been building up over time. And I think there'll be lots more to come. Uh, after all, we've got the Sochi Olympics coming up in 2014, and there have been calls today in Britain, as I'm sure you know, <clears throat> for those games to be boycotted. There have been calls uh, in various countries. So I think the pressure will be ratcheted up by, mm. by enemies of Mr. Putin and by enemies of Russia. The Snowden affair will, uh, will turn out to be relatively unimportant. I think there's a lot more to come. Yeah, just a final 30 seconds while you're on the line. I'd just like to pick your brains about the Snowden affair and how it's viewed in America. I mean, it has affected Obama's ratings. What generally do Americans think about Snowden? Well, I think your reporter made the point just now that a lot of them regard him as an honourable man who, who is a whistleblower and not a traitor. <laughs> Uh, you know, nobody likes the idea that their emails and uh, internet surfing is being trawled through by federal spy agencies. Uh, and it's quite clear that Snowden uh, has done what he did because he felt that what was going on was wrong. He wasn't selling his secrets to a foreign country for personal gain uh, or even uh, selling them uh, to a foreign country for any reason at all. He was revealing them instead to the American people themselves. So I think anybody who is reasonable about this will uh, can only conclude that he has acted honorably. And that's why I said earlier that I think there that Obama's reaction to this uh, was infantile. I can understand it, 
but I think that it's been brought on by a rather infantile uh, atmosphere in American political life. John, have a good evening. Thanks for being on the programme. John Lockgren, the Director of Studies at the Institute of uh, Democracy and Cooperation in Paris. Thank you.